Okay, we're going to talk about our screen passes today. We don't have a ton of screen passes, and Coach Lowe will tell you we don't have any at all, even with, even with the bubble in the tunnel, which I guess that's up for debate. Um, the first one, we're going to do a tight end screen. This is for Coach Harris. He loves this, I'm sure. Um, we can run this out of swing or jet. I think I'd like it better out of swing, but we'll talk about it both ways. Now, I don't, neither one's that big a deal. We go swing right, tight end screen left. So on the motion, obviously we're, we're going to fake the quarterback, the quarterback sweep, okay? So he's here. We go in motion. Ball snapped. He spins with this guy. Quarterback's coming through here, faking this, faking the sweep, okay? For, for these guys, you know, this guy is coming through here on a sweep anyway. This guy's coming through here on a sweep anyway, okay? I'd like – I don't think we'll be able to – if we could even get this guy out here, that'd be great, but I'm not going to guarantee we can. So let's just have him come down like he always does. Okay, let's have him come down like he always does. What I want to do is when the ball's snapped, tight end, pop up there for a second, make sure it's obvious. Okay, we're running a sweep to this side. After this, tight end, take a step back right here. Quarterback, right by the time you get to the end of our box here, right where the wing back was, stop. Turn around, throw to him, okay? We should have two lead blockers right here and here to get upfield and go and pick someone up, all right? Now, it's going to take some timing and, and get used to it. And definitely a guy could blow this up. If they have his defensive end right here and he just sits on this, if he reads it, you know, we're, we're, we may be in trouble here. These two guys are going to have to pick him up, okay? Now, now he may just see this action and just start trailing over here like a lot of guys do, you know. Defensive players will get lazy when they sweep to the other side. They'll just kind of, you'll have a linebacker here. He may just say, oh, it's going over here and not worry about it. Hopefully that's what happens. Um, but you never know. If we do this out of jet, I don't think I like it as well, but you could do it. I mean, he can, he can just come in motion through here, and he's going. Quarterback, instead of spinning, you would just take the hand or take the snap and just go here and then throw the ball back. Okay? You could do it either way. We'll probably try it both ways. I do think I like it better in a swing than the other one. The jet, okay? Um, we got a bubble screen that we run out of twins last year some. Years past, we ran a set of trips. We really can't do it because our wing back is so close. He don't really have enough space here to bubble out. So I'll draw it this way. The center of twins left. Bubble screen left. Okay. If we're going to put our fullback opposite where we're going to throw the bubble, that way the quarterback doesn't hit him in the head with the football. Okay, because he's just catching and throwing it. As soon as the ball is snapped, he takes a little bit of drop for depth. And we tell this guy he's got to block the most dangerous defender out here. So if there's a defender here, that's your guy. If there's a defender here, that's your guy. And it's almost the same rules as a sweep play where we're trying to force this guy to the outside. I'm sorry, to the inside, so you have to get on his outside shoulder. So he can just turn and throw it over here and get to the outside. So just like a sweep, he wants to get to the corner. Now, if you can't get him to the outside, let's say this guy is playing out here. Well, just get him and force him to the sideline. And then once the, kid, once the player catches the bubble, he can cut it up inside. Okay, so very similar to a sweep play. Like I said, we ran it out of trips years past. We're more of a traditional look at a trips, but he's just too close. We, we can't do it. It may have never looked right. Um, but to get a little bit different look there on the another player the ball out of this, we run a tunnel screen. And we can do this out of twins or trips. I'll draw it up both ways. Okay, so twins, let's say we want to throw a tunnel screen, so he's already motioned out. Okay. We want to get him the ball because let's say the defender's here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's say the defender's right here. Okay? That ball snapped. He's going to take a step back and come to the ball, and he's forcing him out, kicking him out. Player here catches it and just runs the lane. Okay? Runs through his alley here. And it's been pretty quick, pretty fast. The other way, this is out of twins. We also run out of trips where, you know, if we're running out of trips, this guy came in motion and came over here. And when the ball snapped, he just 
seals the scar off. So it's the same thing. Okay? Here we went. We motioned him over. Either way, he's kicking this guy out. And he's cutting it through the alley and going. Okay? So that's really it. We just have the three screens, if you want to call them that. Um, they're real quick. Get the ball out and go. Um, so I'll put some stuff on Classroom like I've been doing. And we'll do another one. Thanks.